open up the new year with one of our favorite products, Pokemon Silver Tempest. We're hoping to hit the big Lugia. We have two Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes. Can we break the odds today? Let's find out. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the compound. This is J Ruth Gaming, and Happy New Year. This is our first video for the new year. I'm excited, of course. Figured, go back to where it all started. Let's do some Pokemon, which I'm really excited about to do. And uh, I figured, you know what? There's one product I really, really liked for 2022, and that was Pokemon Silver Tempest. And I looked back on our Pokemon playlist here, which you can find on the home screen, and we also have NBA and NFL playlist there too. And the Pokemon Centers Elite Trainer Box was the one product we really didn't do for Silver Tempest. So I'm like, you know what? Let's whip out Lucky Charizard and uh, let's rip open two of these boxes. So what we'll do is we'll kind of rip them up real quick. I'll show you what's inside of them, but truthfully, I just want to go hunting for some Lugias and my favorite, which is why I think I like this set so much. The Alolan Vulpix, definitely my favorite Pokemon, I think of all time, truthfully. So, you know, the fact that this set is like, the artwork is featured with it, I just think it's cool. I just think it's cool. So yes, first video of the new year, Pokemon. We all started back, man, a year and a half ago, which is awesome. We started with Pokemon, we got into some sports. Um, and it's been it's been fun ever since. So. It's real cool. I'm, I'm super appreciative of all the help from everyone, all the support. It's just been awesome. It's been awesome. So a lot of this, these sleeves to show you guys are gonna be new. Um, these are a little bit different artwork compared to the regular Elite Trainer boxes. And it's to kind of show you, these are gonna be standard. All right, those, those are collectible pieces. The coin should be different too. Haha, <laughs> love it! Gotta love it! Oh my goodness! There's the dice, and I do give the code cards out for every product that we do have. So there you go. There's the code cards. And here's some more sleeves, too. So you actually got two different sleeves. The right, this one is new. I don't remember seeing this. This one, I'm pretty sure you got with all the regular, the regular Elite Trainer boxes. All right. Let's, uh, we're just going to put all this stuff over there on the side, and we'll take care of it later. The artwork inside the box there, hello, should be the same. Also, you can actually rip that open and get some cool artwork. Pretty cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs in each, which should technically be the standard, but you know Pokemon. They dropped it down to eight recently. Don't know why. They say it's printing issues, but I just think it's money issues. Um, Another thing I want to show is the box here is different. So all the snowflakes are actually white compared to the regular Elite Trainer box. Okay, so that's going to be a big difference too. Take the 10 out and we'll save all the collectible stuff for later. Let me get you your code card though. Hold on! There's your code card right there. You can scan that get a free pack online on the Pokemon TCG website. You can battle and have fun against other members or the bots. A lot of fun too. So listen, I'm just chill today. Just chill today, midweek video. I'm just super thankful to have everyone back here for another year. I, I'm excited. We're gonna be doing more fun Pokemon and sport reviews. We're also gonna be getting into more gaming here on the channel. Also down below, you'll see a link to our Discord. Join us, real chill for right now. Nothing too crazy, but as we get into more gaming, and if you wanna game with us here in our PC rig, come hang out with us, have a good time. That's what we're all about. So let's, um, let's dive in. We'll do the right pile first. So first Elite Trainer Box, we're hunting for the Lugia, some Vulpixes, Reggie Dragos. There's a lot of cool cards in this for sure. So we pulled a lot of the, we pulled a lot of the Lugia so far, but we've missed the big alternative art card. We're still missing that. So I haven't done much ripping off camera yet with the holiday season pretty much the last couple weeks here it's been a little difficult man can we go on all the shoot wait can you imagine if that was the first one out to shoot oh that would have been nuts that would have been wild but yeah i haven't been able to do much pc ripping on the side so we're pretty much saving our pc ripping for rip and ship night which we do live here right on youtube typically we do it friday nights but this week if you're watching this pretty much the day it drops we're doing it thursday night which is pretty cool 
We're going to be doing that here live, 8 o'clock EST. Fumbling the cards all over the place. That one actually stuck a little bit. It actually stuck a little bit. Smeagol there getting some paint on the cards clearly and uh, making them stick a little bit. Making them stick. So, Smeagol, what are you doing? What are you doing? I love this artwork. Probably my favorite trainer gallery cards. Now, the yellow border brings up a point that I do want to talk about today in today's video. The new sets are coming out. Things are going to be an interesting year for Pokemon. I really do. We're not going to see yellow borders anymore. I, I think there's going to be a lot of changes. I think there's going to be a lot of changes. And I don't know if the whole community is on board with changes. I really don't. So down below in the comments, let us know what's your opinion on some of the future changes coming up. It's interesting if you ask me. We're going to go with the silver borders. I don't think there's going to be more of the, uh, uh, alternative artwork cards. There's a lot of different rumors out there. So I'll let the story and the headlines come to us. I won't, you know, say too, too much. But personally, the fact that they're getting rid of the yellow borders, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that too much. What I would have done, maybe, I would have done like a soft opening for it. Meaning like I would have done, I would have introduced the silver borders. To the English sets, obviously everyone knows the silver border from the Japanese. I don't know if that's obvious or not. Japanese sets have all silver borders. Their artwork is incredible. Most Pokemon fans that do open Japanese products or collect Japanese products really do like the artwork. So there's, I, I don't know many people that like, I really don't like the Japanese cards. They are truthfully stunning and the quality on them is really, really nice too. So that's always a plus. But to change the whole English set, I don't know. I think what I would have done, I think I would have done the silver borders maybe as the, like, like Radiant Alexam, right? Awesome card, one of our one of our favorites. Maybe I would have done, like, this type of rarity of cards for the silver border first. Maybe that's what I would have done. I would have said, you know what? All of, we're going to put in silver borders, but they're going to be, they're going to be, like, the hit for, like, set one. Maybe that's what I've done. And then throughout the year, you add in more silver opportunities. So by the end of the year, like the last set or whatever it is, you're making a full transition to all silver. So I think this is kind of harsh transition. And um, I don't know, I think you're gonna get a lot of individuals that are missing the yellow border, missing kind of the style for these sets. And listen, pretty confident Pokemon is not reprinting like any of this stuff. So just for what it's worth, I would grab this product or any product really from the Sword and Shield era uh, while you can, because the prices of it are going to skyrocket in my opinion. And uh, they're going to be like vintage because you're not making this stuff anymore. So it's super interesting. Um, I, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm for it. We're going to be here. We're going to review all new products. We're going to be Hunting for the newest cards. I'm in it. We're in it to win it. I love it. Either way, um, I'm excited to see where the hobby goes. Um, we'll see what happens for sure. But I think these last couple sets here, price-wise alone, are just going to just go through the roof. So we'll see what happens. All right. So we're in pack, what, eight of the first Elite Trainer box. There's our Vulpix, but we're looking for the alone Vulpix for sure. Pack number nine, we have one more to go for the first box. Looking forward to it. I don't know, I wanted just to do something. When we first started the channel, we were, um, when I first actually even thought about YouTube, it was, I was opening up a lot of Pokemon. In the sport card world, I do NBA and NFL here on channel. Uh, I was collecting cards, players that I liked. Um, Pokemon, I was just ripping like crazy. So I wanted an experience, I wanted to form a community to, you know, share the experiences with everyone. And then as new product came out, you know, review it for everyone, just have a good time with it. Uh, bled over into sports and then listen to the community. A lot of you guys reach out, whether it's Instagram or on our website, jaredgaming.com and email, whatever you got to do to reach out, um, comment below, kind of take suggestions, whatever you want to see, just trying to build a community for everyone there. That's actually a V-Star. If you get this, it's actually a V-Star technically. Technically, by rights, I'll take care of it later. So that was booster box, or not booster box, 
Elite Trainer Box number one. Four hits that made the sleeves not too bad, but we're looking for a big time card. So let's see if we can make it happen with box number two. Go well, from there. So yeah, we started with the Pokemon, entered into sports, having a lot of fun with that too. Um, but I wanted to have our first real video of this year back, going back to the roots essentially, saying, okay, what Pokemon product did I really, really like? And it was this one. It, it was this one. I, I just think it's, um, come on now. Come on now. Ah, got two hits though. We'll take that. So I figured make a full circle, open up the new year with some PC stuff and have a good time with it. So that's just what we're doing. I hope you don't mind. So for the next couple of weeks, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, definitely follow us on Instagram, a couple other sites that we have. All the links are down below. We'll be doing announcements, um, especially our website, jruthgaming.com. You can make a free account, get your email linked up. I'm actually be setting the schedule uh, through the website pretty much every week of what to expect week by week. Any box breaks that are coming up, rip and ship nights. Love that car. Love the Articuno. Uh, just to keep you guys updated in the loop. Once I said, I said it's all last year and um, we're going to be doing more gaming here, which is going to be really, really cool. I'm super excited to do that. And hopefully I get to meet more of you and game with you here in 2023, which is going to be really, really cool. So the way I see that is it's just going to be us just maybe hanging out live, turning the PC on, playing a couple games and have a kind of an open room. What do you guys want to play today? What do you want a game? Let's team up. Just have a good time with it. There's going to be a couple standard games I think I'm going to play with a couple of the crew here locally. Um, but overall, uh, the main goal is just to really meet more people and have fun and just a game. Break away from the real world, right? All right. Psychic energy. Hopefully it brings us some luck. We're running out of packs. Running out of opportunities to hit a card. We just need the one. You just need the one card. So I will say, though, so far, this is what? Two hits? Two hits so far. So mostly trainer boxes that I have opened anyway. Have a couple or the one big hit so i don't mind not seeing cards here i'm not gonna lie to you because maybe the big card is coming i know i'm grabbing two at a time sometimes the cards are just sticking for whatever reason today i don't know why don't know why right, here we go another v unfortunately that's our third hit our third hit. i think box one only had four right yeah box it only had four but they were different packs though they were different pack, meaning the one pack for the second uh, Elite Trainer box had two hits in it, technically. Technically. So let's see what we can get here with the last couple packs. Let's see it for sure. Did you guys have a good new year? I didn't ask you that already. Let us know below. Did you do anything fun? Did you rip anything fun? Did you have a good PC hit? Let us know. Show us. Also, we have a showcase section in our Discord. You can show us what you hit. That's pretty cool, too. Get to flex a little bit on everyone and show us what you got. Have a good time with it. All right, four more packs to go. I'm not gonna lie. Where is the Lugias? Where is the hits? It's funny, these products have been sitting in our studio for some time and you know, I walk past them all day. You always wonder, is it in there? Is the Lugia in there? Has it been cooking enough? <laughs> Let's find out. All right, three more packs to go. Reggie Drago, oh, there we go. Those are three that we're really looking for. We'll go Reggie Drago first. We'll do the Vulpex one next. And then we'll hope that the Lugia. Wouldn't it be cool the Lugia in the Lugia, the Lugia pack for the last pack magic for today? Leaf Energy is our energy choice. Wow. Fumbling all over the place today. Let's see if we can get it straightened out before the big card comes up. Get our V in there. We'll get our Vulpix card next. Hoping for the fan favorite, or this is really the PC. I don't know why. Don't know why, but if anyone asks me, like, hey, what's your favorite Pokemon? The Alone Vulpix. That's, like, where I'm going to. All right, let's get Psychic Energy, though. That's going to be our guess. Electric, so no, not this time. Let's see what we can get here. So, come on. Come on. Nothing there. One last opportunity for today. Listen, I appreciate everyone just tuning in. I just wanted to do a quick video of uh, Pokemon, and I figured do something I didn't rip yet, which was this product. So mainly just to come on here, say hello to everyone, rip open the product, do a quick video, take us off to the new year. We have Rip and Ship tomorrow night live here, 8 o'clock EST. You can find all products on our website, jruthgaming.com. 
Um, make sure you make an account. It's free to do. So you get the schedule every Monday. I'll pretty much send the schedule out. And uh, come hang out with us here on our growing community at J Earth Gaming. Appreciate all the support. All right, last card, Magic. Oh, we did get something. All right, so last pack, Magic. Looks like a V-Star, but remember, the V-Star could be gold, and it looks gold, too. I think we got the Lugia. Oh, no, we got Reggie Drago. All right, hey, I never hit any of these yet. So I am, uh, th actually, that's a lie. We did hit one of these for Rip and Ship Night. So uh, we'll take that for the PC. That's our first Reggie Drago V-Star. How about that? We'll take that. You've been avoiding us like crazy. So good start for the new year. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for the support over the last year and a half that we've been here i can't wait to grow the channel with all of you meet more of you and just have a good time appreciate the support everyone make sure that notification bell is turned on and we'll see you at the next video take care